Uh, hello. I was just uh, going to bring you a wee update there. Um, about a month ago or so, I'd done a video about my Travis Grammar that failed. Um, and it was quite a while ago as well, I'd done a video on the Shade 43 epic fail, whereby the blade completely broke in half. I'm not having the best of luck with uh, larger survival knives. I don't think they're really my thing. I, I, they are good and I do like the concept. Um, if you've got a larger knife, you know, it's, it's, you can use it for a lot of things. You know, it means you potentially wouldn't have to carry an axe. Um, and it, it is good, um, a survival aid for certain environments, especially a, a jungle environment. You know, the um, machete would be the preferred sort of survival tool. When I'm out, I prefer to use a sort of a more a Garberg size of knife and carry two of them and an axe and a saw um, and potentially my cold steel shovel. The reason my thinking behind that is that if one of the tools fail, you've got a backup. Uh, one is none and two is one is a good concept that I sort of go by. Um, but I do see the good side of having a large survival knife. Um, you know, it's an all-round survival tool. It'll just depend on what you prefer. But um, you've seen there before the Travis Gramet field that folded in on itself um, and there was damage caused to the, the blade. I got, I got in touch with the company there um, and they stated that it was a poor um, heat-treated uh, batch. I also got the same from Shred when I told them about the, the failure of their blade. But they're excellent customer service and they've, they've sent me out a new uh, blade, Travis Grama, um, and it was quite a fast service. Um, it's come with a different plastic sheath there um, that will go inside my sheath that I already have, so I'll be able to utilise that. And there's the, uh, blade, the new blade. Um, if you see there, the grind seems slightly different than the other one. Um, it's quite hard to see, but um, the the stated that it was a, a a poor batch that were incorrectly heat treated, which seems to be uh, quite a current theme with larger survival and bushcraft knives. Um, I will use this again for shelter construction, maybe when I'm out uh, at Camp Monte. It, it is quite good. Um, it, was good for clearing up branches um, and it is a good all-round knife uh, however I still think I'm going to stick to my sort of more medium-sized knives um, but this is you know fantastic it's especially good for it's good for chopping undergrowth not as good as my uh, machete um, that costs 10 pounds that easy going outdoors is a big fan of as well and he's got a few modification videos that he's done to his and, and it's cracking um, but yeah, there the customer service was second to none, um, and they sent that out within a few days. Um, and obviously, it was posted from Finland, so I was quite pleased with with the level of service I received. Um, they were quite apologetic about it, um, but I think just with a larger knife, it's it's going to be a common theme, and hopefully, this uh, knife will um, not have the same issues that I had before. And I'm going to take it out, give it another go, and update you. But um, I don't have it to hand, but um, Last year, I believe it was my Shred 43, completely failed. I was doing some light battening and the whole blade snapped in half. Um, I got in touch with them straight away and explained the circumstances. And again, they stated it was a pure heat treated uh, batch and they dispatched uh, another knife out, out to me, which I haven't really tried yet. It, it just doesn't seem to be my cup of tea this weather, uh, the larger knives. Um, I'm still sticking to my Mora Garberg uh, and my Healy GT and also my Kellum Wolverine I've been using quite a bit which is is quite a nice knife. I'll, I'll get out with it um, I'm sure eventually and see if it, if it is um, a bad batch or just a poor knife but I would say it is a, it is a bad uh, heat treated batch. I mean it wasn't the worst feel in the world it, it was just the blade folded in but this the Shred um, 43 that was um, a very very poor fail uh, if the blade breaks in half you know it renders the the knife completely unusable um, and if you're relying on that in a survival scenario it's you know could potentially you could potentially lose your life so i probably won't go down that route again i'm gonna ca and carry more tools so if one does break um you know you've, you've got access to the other ones and you're not up uh, a creek without a paddle 
um, especially in a more long-term survival scenario you know that no matter what the, the tools are eventually going to start getting degraded and damaged so you know it's better to have a few as well another um, element of it is I like to have a knife for cutting meat um, especially poultry and for cutting vegetation i.e. if I'm eating edibles or other vegetables um, so you're not cross contaminating your meat and you're not going to get sick but yeah, um, I just thought I'd update you there just so I'm not effectively slagging off this company and stating that their product's bad and not giving them a good light because both companies, Shred and uh, Travis Grama, fantastic customer service, just completely apologetic um, about the issues and replaced my tools straight away. So thumbs up for customer service, more than pleased. Um, and I'll get back to you on how the new knives performs um, and it was just a, a heat treatment uh, issue or if it is a poor knife maybe not fit for purpose or fit for a different kind of work so hope that's updated you um, and as always stay safe out there and get out there and enjoy the great outdoors